All right, and how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about how to set up Wake on LAN on Synology NAS. So, for those of you who don't know what Wake on LAN is, is it's basically a way to wake up your Synology if it's turned off. So, say you're not at home and you need to turn your NAS on for whatever reason. You can VPN back into your network. Obviously, it won't work if your VPN is hosted on the Synology, but you can VPN into the network and basically fire off a Wake on LAN command and it will boot up your Synology. That way you'll be able to turn it on without having to go there. This can still be really helpful if you've got something like a technology room in your house and you don't want to have to go all the way down there, especially when you're experimenting trying to see if something works. You don't want to have to go up and down the stairs constantly turning on and off your NAS. So not all models have Wake on LAN. That's something you're going to have to check the compatibility with with your exact NAS. But for those who do, setting up Wake on LAN is incredibly easy. So your first step is to just go ahead and log into DSM. And from there, we're going to go into Control Panel, Hardware and Power. And then right here, we've got Enable Wake on LAN. As you can see here, there are two different ports here, LAN 1 and LAN 2. I'm just going to turn it on for both of those. But you need to make sure it's on for whatever port you're using to send the packet. One thing to note, Enabling Wake on LAN automatically enables your Synology to reboot anytime there's a power loss. But that's just one thing to note. And just go ahead and hit apply. And so now our Synology is going to accept a Wake on LAN command. So the command that you send to wake up something is what's called a magic packet. And there are a few different ways you can send a magic packet. I've actually done a video and I'll leave it in the description of using a Raspberry Pi as a Wake on LAN server. Basically, I just had two different buttons. I could turn off my Synology or on my Synology with a single push of the button from anywhere in my house. This was mostly meant so when I got my bigger R630, I wouldn't have to have that thing on all the time, and I'd always know when it's on so I could easily turn it off. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But in this case, the easiest thing we're going to want to do is just use Synology Assistant. So Synology Assistant is incredibly easy to use, and you can download it off of Synology's website. And so Synology Assistant, the very first thing it does is it searches your local network for any Synology disk stations or routers. And as we can see here, I've got Todd and Tank. So Todd is the test server we're using right now. And so that's the one we're going to be setting it up. You will also see virtual machines in this if you've got any powered. And so, and so Synology Assistant is really easy to use. You basically have two options, connect to it or set up Wake on LAN. So if you click connect, it'll just go ahead and open up your web browser to DSM, which is an easy way to find it, but it's kind of tedious to go to every time. Where Synology Assistant is really good is for setting up Wake on LAN. It's incredibly easy. All you have to do is click set up Wake on LAN with the Synology you would like to use selected. And right here, you'll see the MAC address and just click OK. This is the MAC address of the Ethernet card that it's communicating with right now. So we're just going to click OK. All right, and so now it is just that easy. Wake on LAN is set up. All right, so now let's go ahead and test it. We're going to go back into DSM. We're just going to shut down our Synology. All right, so now it's been a minute. And so as you refresh this, we're gonna do a search and we should see that it's gonna show offline for Todd. All right, and so now it says it's offline. And so now all we have to do to bring it up is right click on it, wake on LAN and click wake up or control W. And it's going to send the magic packet to the ethernet card. And that ethernet card is then going to tell Synology to wake up. Basically the way this works is there's a very low powered computer in the ethernet card waiting for this packet to get sent to it. If it gets sent that, it then tells Synology to boot up. And so that's what's going on right now. We have this little progress meter right here, but I'm pretty sure that that is literally just a 100 second timer because there's no way to know if a wake on LAN command was successful or not. But if I were to go downstairs right now, my Synology would be blinking green because it's booting up right now. In a minute here, you're probably going to hear a slight beep from my downstairs where the Synology is right now. 
All right, and so you just heard the beep, and so that means it's booted up. And magically, if you looked, the wake on land status went from 38% to 100% as soon as that happened. That wake on land percent status is completely just there to keep people from freaking out because it does take a little while. That probably took 30 seconds. And so now we can see that it's finally communicating and DSM is fully booting up now. It'll take us a minute, but let's go ahead and refresh this page and see if it's ready yet. All right, and just like that, Todd is back online. And we can sign into Synology DSM. All right, and so it is just that easy. You can use Synology Assistant or any other tool you use to send your magic packets to wake up your Synology NAS anytime you need to. And that's all I've got for you. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below, and have a good one. Bye.